Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to test the production sample of 30 inch concentric carbon fiber coal from Nexus on this uh, very test site where the first prototype 30 inch carbon fiber coal was tested a few months ago. I buried here exactly under this location a uh, 330 milliliter soft drink can that was squashed flat at one meter depth. Now I want to see in these conditions with all this bush and some time have passed if I can pick up uh, that target comfortably enough. I'm going to use exactly the same settings as I did in the previous video test. Factory preset for all settings. The search coil is turned at the moment into the hot ground mode so it can match as close as possible the uh, working parameters of the uh, 13 inch prototype that was used here a few months ago. Okay, let's see what signals I'm gonna get now. The coil is perfectly stable, no touch sensitivity of any kind. Is picking up the target really comfortably. Now I'm going to measure uh, the depth at which I'm picking up the target or the distance above the ground. That will give me the total depth figure. I can hear diggable signal from 45 centimeters above the soil surface. Now I'm going to turn the coil mode to maximum depth. The signal is becoming considerably louder. So I can get the same faint signal from here. Let's see what that is. That is 50 centimeters approximately. So in maximum depth mode, the coil is gaining two inches in comparison to hot ground mode and three inches in comparison to the prototype in cancel. Australian 50 cent, Bulgarian tends to tinky from 1999. The detector has been tuned already in uh, the standard settings that I use. That is uh, mono, fixed, normal, deep. The search call is in maximum depth mode and on the back panel all settings are factory preset. Ground balance is perfect. Ok, 
okay this part from here up to here appears to be clean enough so I'm going to use this past berry coins now I'm going to test the coins in air to see what is the maximum detection that I can get in air first the Australian 50 cent So I'm hearing the faintest signal at 80 centimeters. More noticeable at 75. Now the small Bulgarian coin. Good diggable signal at 60 centimeters. I would say the noticeable end of detection for this coin is 70 centimeters uh, in good diggable signal at 60. So I don't have exactly the tools to put these coins at those depths. I believe I can put both of the coins at. Uh, 22 inches or 55 centimeters if I can do a little bit better or try and after that I'm going to measure how far above the ground I can still pick up these coins that's the coin that's the plunger nothing Here it is. I think I'm gonna leave the coin at 18 inches depth. Yeah, I will have to, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to recover my two. If the coin is down, if the stick is knocking onto the coin, And the depth is forty seven centimeters. And the depth is exactly forty seven centimeters to the coin. Okay. Now I'm going to measure what is that I can detect. Well let me put back in the hole whatever dirt came out as much as I can. Those are rocks, they're not gonna get inside. Now the, the coin is here, there is some target here. And there is another there, so relatively close for this coil. But let's see what happens. So I can get reasonable changes in the sound from this height which is 4 inches above the ground. So total detecting distance 57 centimeters 
what is that 23 inches for eight and a half millimeter coin now I'm going to drill a hole on this spot So the depth of this hole is exactly 24 inches, 60 centimeters. Nothing in the plunger. Well, the coin is bigger than the tool. beaten down 61 centimeters so I'm returning the dirt no problem whatsoever I can get good audible change from this height and that is 6 inches, 15 centimeters so total detection distance for this coin 75 centimeters I'm going to turn out the coil in hot ground mode all the rest of the settings are the same as before Let's see if I can pick it up in hot ground mode. No problem whatsoever. Now the audible signal is a little bit less high that is 5 inches 12 centimeters let's see the other small coin that is here if I can get in uh, hot ground mode I'm getting faint signal at about, by the look of it, 3 inches or so. Yes, about 3 inches above the ground. So if I scrap, let's see what happens with the signal if I scrap the coil a bit. Well, the signal when scrubbing the coal is pretty clear to me. Now cancel. I'm getting signal in cancel at about 4 inches so that is 70 centimeters total detection distance for the 50 cent so I'm getting signal at about 2 inches above the ground from the small coin as well if I scrub more close let's see what happens just a little bit better the scrubbing doesn't get me 
closer than an inch from the maximum distance. Okay, now what I'm going to do in between the locations of the two points, one here, one there, I'm going to put right in the middle because it's a clean spot. Australian gold nugget at six inches depth and see if I can get anything. Here is my half gram gold nugget. I'm going to attach it with a tape on this stick and put it down six inches, see if I can pick up anything. So here is the nugget at the end of the stick. I'm going to run the test in double D mode. No problem in mono, nice smooth uh, deep signal from a small target. Interesting, I'm picking a few inches above the ground, let me see. Okay, this is almost three inches above the ground, faint signal. Nine inches total detection distance for half a gram Australian gold nugget. 